Students, it's on prolific to run after the shortcuts without knowing the concept. Let us know the concept and answer the questions instantly. So here as you can see, this is one of the previous year question of SSC CGL and not only for SSC CGL, this is important for all upcoming exams. So don't skip the video and watch the full video to learn how to solve this in the exam within few seconds. Here it is given that a sum of money becomes Rs. 64,400 at compound interest. If the rate of interest in 3 years are 12.5%, 6 to by 3% and 16 to by 3% respectively, then find the compound interest for the third year. Only you need to find out the compound interest for the third year. And the amount after three years is given to be 64,400. We know the fraction value of 12.5% that is 1 by 8. 6 2 by 3 is 1 by 15. And the fraction value of 16 2 by 3 is 1 by 6. So let us assume the original principal to be x. So after one year it will become x multiplied by 8 plus 1 that is 8 is the principal and 1 is the interest according to the fraction. So 9 by 8 will be the amount after one year. So x into 9 by 8 is the amount after one year or the principal for the second year. Now on this amount you are getting the interest of 6 to by 3 percent that is 1 by 15. That means on 15 you are getting 1 rupees as interest. So 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 by 15. After multiplying the value becomes x into 9 by 8 into 16 by 15. This whole thing is the amount after second year or the principal for the third year. So this is the principal for the third year. So on this principal you are going to get an interest of 16 2 by 3 percent that is 1 by 6 that means if 6 is the principal you will get 1 as interest so the amount will become 7 by 6 and now this amount is given to be 64,400 now observe carefully this much that is x into 9 by 8 into 16 by 15 this is the principal for the third year so if we find out the value of this principal let us assume to be p that is the principal of the third year if we find out this value of p then we can find out the interest how amount minus principal will get interest for the third year so principal that is p into 7 by 6 equal to 64,400 from here you can get the value of P that is 64,400 divided by 7 into 6. If we divide 64,400 by 7, we will get here 9200. 9, into 6, you are getting 55,200. Now, from this amount after 3 years, that is 64,400 amount minus principal, that is 55,200. If we deduct, then we will get the compound interest for third year, only for the third year. That is 9,200 and this was asked in the question. So, this is your final answer. If you find the content of this video helpful, do like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and to get notification of newly uploaded important videos of our channel, you need to click on the bell icon. See you in the next class with new important concept.